Next up is a coach that I thought personally was going to be the first head coach fired over Bill O'Brien, over anyone, because there, it's New York, the media talks, and also there's just, in my eyes, a lot more controversy with this coach and the New York Jets than with Bill O'Brien with the Houston Texans. But he still has a job as of right now with this being week five, and that is Adam Gase. Adam Gase of the New York Jets has posted a 7-13 to record as head coach of the Jets. That's not the worst, especially if you haven't played that many games, 20 games. But there's a lot of things behind it and underlying things if you look at the track record of Adam Gase and what he's done with the Miami Dolphins. And people were even wondering when he got hired by the, the New York Jets, why is this guy getting hired by the Jets? Maybe it was his eyes that convinced him. I don't know. But Adam Gase has an 0-4 start to this year and looks like that they're going to be one of the worst teams in the NFL, if not the worst team. I know the other New York team, the New York Giants, are competing for that spot, but I believe that the Jets are much worse than the New York Giants. And Adam Gase is part of the issue in my eyes. So uh, if we look at uh, the underlying and the track record of uh, Adam Gase and what he did with the Miami Dolphins and why he has a job with the New York Jets. Then we look at the players that he coached with the Miami Dolphins and why it didn't turn out well. And they go on to have successful seasons, either with a different team or with the same team. And you start to wonder with yourself, is Adam Gase to blame for the lack of success with Miami? A lot of examples that we can talk about. Seven I, I, I came up with that we can talk about. Let's talk about them. First, the quarterback, the most memorable, Ryan Tannehill, had his best season as a Miami Dolphin, his sophomore season, 27 touchdowns, 12 interceptions, with Joe Philbin. His best years in Miami were with Joe Philbin. With Adam Gase, didn't do much, to the point that we're like, ah, let's just move on with him. Not a quarterback of the future. Goes on to Tennessee, and he proves, and he shows, like, hey, nothing's wrong with me. I'm a top 10 pick in the 2012 NFL Draft, and look at the success that I'm having with Tennessee leading this team to the AFC Championship after taking over after four games uh, from Marcus Mariota in the 2019 season. So Ryan Tannehill is one example that went off to have success out of the control of Adam Gase. Kenyon Drake, another player that just got traded to Arizona in the last half of 2019 and just exploded. Was one of the better running backs in the NFL in the last half of the 2019 season. He was never seen as a bell cow back by Adam Gase. And right now you could debate, okay, well, Cliff Kingsbury, he's giving Chase Edmonds some carries. And yeah, Drake just isn't really doing that well right now. But at least he puts trust in him. At least he sees him as a three down back like a lot of people did when he was, in over, he was over in Alabama. He had to split carries when he was in Alabama. But people saw him as a potential and the potential that he had as being an early pick in the second or third round, I believe. In the draft by the Miami Dolphins. Oh, this is the next uh, running back of the future for the Dolphins. Let's trade away Jay Ajayi and let's give the, the reins to Kenyon Drake. Never happened. Had he took, he took advantage of most of the opportunities that he had, but it was never given the full reins to be the lead bell cow back of the Miami Dolphins. Goes on to Arizona, explodes. Just one of those examples that does well after uh, leaving the brains of Adam Gase. Another example is Devontae Parker. Okay, so I dived a little bit deeper into this and what was kind of the uh, the beef that was going on with Adam Gase and Devontae Parker. I read a report like a year or two ago saying that Adam Gase thinks that Devontae Parker is soft. I don't know how true that is, but I dived a little bit deeper in that. And what I found was in October of 2018, during the 2018 NFL season, there was a game against Detroit where Devontae Parker was healthy. He was fully healthy. This is all according to his agent, uh, Jimmy Gould. He believes that he was fully healthy, and I'm going to pull up the quote right here. But said that he was fully healthy. Still, Adam Gase made him inactive and decided not to ride with Devontae Parker and instead trusted the likes of Albert Wilson and Danny Amendola to be their lead receivers in this game against Detroit when Devontae Parker could have made a much bigger impact. So I'm going to go ahead and show the quote real quick by this, uh, by Jimmy Gold. This is the agent of Devontae Parker, and this is in response to Adam Gase choosing and electing to have Devontae Parker inactive in that game against Detroit. 
He says, no, I haven't, but I find the decision to make Devontae inactive today by Coach Gaze. Gaze with an, a Z, not S. Maybe that's in that's foreshadowing. This is 2018 at that time, so maybe it's foreshadowing the press conference that he had with the Jets with the, the wide eyes look that he had. With Coach Gaze, incompetent and insulting. Gold said in a statement obtained by Palacero. It's also just not true, and I'm sick of hearing him say my player is not healthy. This is the third game this year that Devontae should have played, and when you can include the Jets and New England. Devontae is healthy and with injuries, and the Dolphins, 6.1 yards per carry. This is how many yards per carry that they had in that game against Detroit uh, with Amendola and Wilson. Devontae could have and should have been allowed to contribute. What a horrific decision by Coach Gaze. Again, the Gaze. And he needs to take a very long look in the mirror and make himself inactive. That's actually pretty funny. <laughs> make himself inactive. Wow, that's uh, that was actually pretty smart and, and a good burn by uh, Jimmy Gold. So that's kind of the beef with Devontae Parker and Adam Gase. What happens after that? Adam Gase gets fired. Devontae Parker has an amazing season with 1,200 yards receiving under the reins of Brian Flores, a new head coach, because they use him like the way that he should have been used this whole entire time. You got a guy that is maybe not as talented as Julio Jones, but physically he is built like Julio Jones. A big guy, 6'3", 215 pounds, fast as heck, a beast, can win 50-50 balls. They need, they chose and elected not to use him that way. Instead, more so a, a slot receiver and Adam Gase, he, he just failed to use Devontae Parker the right way, and Devontae Parker goes on to have a successful season. So that's just another example of a player that does well outside of Adam Gase. Mike Gesicki, Mike Goat Siki, the fan favorite of Time to Football host Hassan Khan. 2018 being drafted, arguably the best tight end in that NFL draft, a big red zone target. You chose not to use him in the red zone. Instead, you had Dwayne Allen and Durham Smythe as starting tight ends over Mike Kosicki. Goes on to lead all tight ends and red zone targets so far in 2020. Big, athletic, having a breakout season. 6'6", 250 pounds, and led all tight ends in the 40-yard dash in 2018. Another example that's doing well outside of Adam Gase. Then you want to talk about the Jets? Let's talk about another Jets player. Let's talk about Robbie Anderson. Anderson was with the Jets in 2019. Didn't do much. Was inconsistent. Goes on to have a successful season with Carolina. So far, as we know, the trusted target and the number one target for Teddy Bridgewater over DJ Moore, of all people. So Robbie Anderson is another example. So Adam Gase, a lot of issues with him. A lot of issues. And the offensive guru, genius, label that he has, I don't understand it. It, it. It's just a lingering concept and a lingering title that he's had since his days with Peyton Manning, and it's got to go. We've got to see Adam Gase as he truly is. We've seen him with the Miami Dolphins. We've seen him with the New York Jets. We've seen his true colors, and it is not the right fit. So Adam Gase has got to get out of there of New York.